can't believe I'm about to do this. God damn it. I'm about to enter my suffering. Hello Yoshi players. This is Yoshi player here. And welcome to my first walkthrough on... <sighs> Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. God damn it. My little history with this game has been... Very, very interesting. So, I first spoke about this game in my Unpopular Opinions video when I said that I thought the first game was better than this. But, at that point, I had only played, like, two worlds of this game. And... I recently played the whole game with my friend Shane, or Shaney Kong as you guys like to call him. It was unbearable. <laughs> I did not expect this game to get so, so hard. So I thought, hey, it'd be funny because I haven't tortured myself enough. Let's play through the game by myself without using save states. And yes, before anybody asks, I am playing this on an emulator, but I have decided to not use save states because I want to see how people experienced this game when it first came out back in 1995. I completely forgot about this little area when I did it. I've kidnapped that lumbering full Donkey Kong and you will never see him again, Captain Karul. Uh, sorry, every time I every time I think of K. Rool, I always think of his Donkey Kong Country television show voice. It's just, to me, it's one of the most memorable things about him. Anyway, yeah, so I have played this game, I think, more times than I probably should. I first played it a few years ago, but I only played, like, the first two worlds. And then I talked about it in that video. And then, I played through the whole game with Shane on the Switch. And I was completely right to say that Donkey Kong Country 1 is better. Because, as it turns out... This game is actually one of the hardest games I think I've ever played in my life. And as you'll soon see throughout this walkthrough, you can determine if it's a fair kind of hard, or if it's the bullshit kind of hard. But you'll get to see exactly the kind of bullshit the game can throw at me. And like I said earlier, I'm not doing this with any save states, so... That'll just make it even more unbearable, but you guys like to see me suffer, so I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Now, despite me looking for all the coins, I'm actually not going to 100% this game. I may do that at some point in the future, but I am certainly not doing it for this walkthrough, because sometimes the game asks a lot from you, and there is no way I am going through that torture. At least not right now, anyway. All I want to do is just finish it, finish it, and challenge myself to try and beat it without getting, well, without, like, using save states and whatnot. Because I want to see how people experience this game when it first came out. Even though I'm playing it on an emulator, but I don't care. I wanted to get some nicer footage. Oh, and just to challenge myself even further, I'm playing the PAL version. That's why this video is at 50 instead of 60. Uh, because, of course, the PAL version is the one that I own. Yes, I have. I, I actually have a physical cartridge of this game. I have a Super Nintendo. And I haven't played it on that yet. I probably could if I wanted to, but screw it. I'm still going to try and do the challenge of not using save states. Because there's some stupid design philosophies that this game uses when you don't include save states, and it's kind of annoying, but you'll soon see what I'm talking about, or at least in the videos coming afterwards. I'll say this though, for all the stuff I'm about to get into with this game, I stand by that the first three worlds are actually not that bad. They're, they're hard, but they're the more fair kind of hard, like, oh, they're challenging, but like, I can still beat them. It's not too challenging. And at least the game does give you a lot of like these bonus areas to get coins and 
Like, the game does reward your sense of curiosity, and I do like that. Like, oh, where does this area leave? And then it, like, rewards you with coins or lives or, like, animals, and I like that. I like it when a game does that. But as I'll soon see, I don't know if these, like, what are they, clumber coins or something? I don't know if they'll mean much, but we'll see what happens. So, trying to, I sound very unenthusiastic right now, but that's just what this game does to me. Makes me pretty frustrated when I play it. It's only after World 3 where the game starts getting, like, really bullshit hard. And, I, and, I, and I've seen lots of people saying, oh, Donkey Kong Country 2 is one of the hardest SNES games ever. It's like, I think I can agree with that because, like, look, the first game was difficult. I won't deny that, but it's also not, I, just, I wouldn't say it's as hard as this game. I think it has slightly better design, but that's just me. I, I'm, I'm trying to keep this as close to a let's play as I can because if I wanted to talk about why I don't like this game as much as most people do, I'd do a, I'd do a let's tackle for that. That's not what my let's play channel's for. It's to just play the game and also talk about it while I'm playing it. There's nothing else I can really do when it's just me by myself. Actually, I'm thinking one day I might do like a 100% I should do a 100% walkthrough with Shane, I bet he'd love that. I need this, so I can get past these fuckers. Oh yeah, I am trying to get as many extra lives as I can, at least for the playthrough that I'm doing right now, because... I discovered that when you try to play the game without save states and you save your game, it doesn't save your lives! Like, it saves the progression you have, it saves the coins you collected, well, except for the regular coins, but it doesn't save how many lives you had, so next walkthrough, I'm back down at four lives. And no, like I said, I'm not using save states to save at that point, that's cheating. I'm not gonna save yet. I'll do that when I get to the next world and I stop this playthrough. So, yeah, world one, it's not as hard as some of the other worlds. Like, I understand the design philosophy, like, oh, we need you to have an easy world so you, it, like, eases you into the game, and, you know, I think that's design philosophy 101. Always start off easy, and then get progressively hard, just not, uh, just not the bullshit kind of hard. Yes, I skipped this level, I do not give a crap. I just want to complete this game. I, I really don't care at this point. Yeah, that, 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 that swanky. Those, like, game shows. They soon won't mean much when you're doing different playthroughs on different days. Because, like I said, it doesn't save the amount of lives you get, so what's the point? I mean, I suppose for the... I know there's people that, like, play through the whole game in one sitting, but I'm not doing that. I don't think I'm qualified enough to do something like that. That's asking a lot from me. Especially since I have other things to work on, like, let's tackle and, uh, sticks, and I s I'm still trying to look for animators for Ordinary Girl. It's really difficult. But yeah, if there's one other thing I like about this game, it's that- Oh! No! You can't tell me I didn't jump on that! That's bull crap. I was about to say I like the animal buddies. I like the ones they give you in this game compared to the first one, except, I'm going to be honest, except for the bird. I cannot stand the bird, because there's so much you have to do with the fucking bird. You have to try to fly, rapidly tapping the B button, and then you also have to maneuver your way through fucking zingers. I will get to those zingers in a minute. I despise zingers. And yeah, see right there. See that? You see that fucker? Worst enemy in the game, or one of the worst enemies in the game. Because those little fuckwits are everywhere, and you can't kill them unless you have a projectile. I hate them. I hate them so much, and I especially hate the red ones that you can't kill, period. It's also because of these fuckers that we've spawned another character in Smash Brothers named Zingzer. It's like a combination between Bowser and a Zinger. Because uh, Bowser literally has a, like a Zinger cut. <laughs> the Zinger color in the game. 
That's what he has. You know what, I really should have been using Dixie Kong more often because I love her gliding ability. You know what, Dixie Kong is a lot more fun to play as than Donkey Kong. Actually, that's another thing I like about this game. You don't play as Donkey Kong in this one. I'm trying to get up there because I know there's two coins up there, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. Come on. So, first boss in the game, I think there's like seven bosses. Uh, maybe six, I can't exactly remember, but... Because I don't remember if World 6 had like two bosses, I know K. Rule was one of them, but... Yeah, first boss, probably the easiest boss in the game. I know that sounds silly, like, oh, first boss, of course it's the easiest, but like, no bitch. The other bosses, like, the ones after World 3, can get insanely difficult. I think the worst ones are the second fight with the bird, where he's a ghost, and the big zinger boss. Those bosses demand a lot from you, and it's pretty fucking hard. And I killed him. Good riddance. What the hell is going on with Diddy? <laughs> what are you doing, Diddy? Are you having a seizure, or are you a little bit too excited behind Dixie Kong? Okay. Okay. Alright, so we're already at World 2. Mainly consisting of these lava levels. There's like a few cannon ones that I really don't like. Oh, this enemy. Another enemy that's annoying, especially the ones that show up later in the game. There's like three different coloured of these, I don't know what they're called, Kremlin Barrel Guys? I don't know. The Barrel Guys, I'll just call them that. <laughs> I'm lazy. Oh god. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I love the I love the noises these guys make. I, mean, I copy them all the time. It's like, <laughs> yep, just the same. Oh, come on, grab that. Yeah, those barrel enemies. They they come in like three different colors, and they get worse. Like, there's one that's faster, and there's another one that blows up. And yeah, they're pretty annoying. They can push you off the edge, and Lord knows that's happened to me a lot of times in this game. This level does kind of throw me off a bit. Ah! The spider! Okay, the spider is easily my favourite animal in the game. Because he can make these platforms. And he shoots projectiles. And not in an annoying fashion like the bird. Yes, I don't remember the animals' names. I only remember Rambi. And, yeah. That, that's like the only animal I know the name of. Oh, and the snake. The snake in that other level. Radley. I remember him. Other than that, I don't know the other animals' names. I only know Rambi, because he's the one that shows up a lot. Oh yeah. Best part. Watch this. Mm. God, that's so satisfying. I absolutely love killing Zingers. They are the bane of my existence in this game. I say they're one of the worst because of how frequently they show up, but there are other enemies that are really bad. I think another one would be a piranha that shows up in World 3, because he's really annoying. He shows up in only two levels, and yet, every time you jump in the water, he will get you instantly. I don't know if that's the same bonus barrel that I used earlier, but alright, I get extra life. 21 lives. That's gonna be back down to 4 in the next video. <sighs> God. Playing through games like this without using save states is pretty annoying. Yeah, you took that little shortcut because there's that big green guy that's in your way. Actually, I'm pretty sure paying that guy takes you to a special world. I think the game, like, tricks you into thinking it's gonna take you past that air zone, but instead it just takes you to a bonus world. I think that's what happens. I might have to try that later on. But again, I'm not gonna complete the game 100%. So, this level, it's... Oh god. It's alright, but what I don't like about these levels is that those barrels, the ones that shoot you upwards, there's no sign about whether they'll shoot you up high or whether they'll shoot you like really, really high, like these barrels. Some of them shoot you a little bit high and then there's other ones that shoot you like extremely high. Like, yeah, that one. I kind of wish there was like a sign to tell the difference. Like maybe those ones that shoot you extremely high are like red instead of white. Like just some sort of sign. Jesus. 
Alright. Let's see if you Oh, what? Why won't you get in the barrel? That usually works all the time. I don't get it. I think this game might have collision issues or something. Oh god. I need to get the coin really quickly. Come on. My god, they all shoot you at the exact same distance, so... At least none of them throw me off. Oh, I remember that being a lot harder when I did it with Shane. Then again, that might be because it was the first time I'd played the game in years, so didn't really remember much about it. I, I, I remember liking it, but I don't remember loving it as much as the first game. Ironically, the first Donkey Kong Country is actually one of my favourite SNES games, and it's ironic considering how much I say, oh, Donkey Kong annoys me or stuff like that. But let's be honest, the game itself is amazing. It's hard, but I wouldn't say it's bullshit hard. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you. Yeah, that, that could have killed me. Oh, yeah, these birds. I hate those birds as well. Because sometimes they show up when you don't expect them to show up. And they will swoop you, and you only have seconds to react. I really wanted to get the extra life, but whatever. I have 21. Doesn't matter. Ah, this level, I remember this one. It's very hectic, but it's not too bad. Yes, I hear you, seal. Shut up. Use that seal to cool the water down, and you got to be quick, because the water will turn back to being hot. Like, I know, the, I know this level says it's lava, but, like, you can't convince me a few drops of water will turn that into water. It's clearly just hot water. It's not lava. I refuse to believe that. Donkey and... Not Donkey. Diddy and Dixie would die quicker if it was lava. Uh, oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no coming back. <sighs> god damn it. Stupid fucking Stingray. If it wasn't for him, I might have made it. I might have just barely made it. Yes. Oh. Come on. I hate it when that happens. You jump up and you think you're going to land on top of the enemy, but no. Turns out, you still get hit. I, I hate that. I hate that design. Oh, thank god I didn't get hit then. Yeah, fuck you, Stingray. I'm not going that way again. To think, I died over some freaking nanus. That's the name me and Shane use for the bananas. We call them nanus. <laughs> there was actually a point in the game where I tried to get nanus and I died and then he was all like you died over some freaking nanus and I don't know why just the way he said it made me laugh oh yeah those piranhas like I said they're annoying but they're not as annoying as the ones that show up later the pink piranhas oh shit go go daddy you idiot oh god is that the end of the level I know the stingray or no not the fuck am I saying? Stingray. The swordfish guy. I forget his name. I know he's in this level, but I didn't know where to find him. Oh, what? That doesn't make you do it? I can throw projectiles at other things, but that doesn't make you shoot the bubbles. Oh, God. Did not see that puffer fish. Oh, that one. Oh, God. I'm rushing through it. You know what? That's my problem. I keep rushing through things. And, you know, I've never attempted to be a speedrunner. I don't think I ever will be a speedrunner. Jesus. Fuck you. You know what? You can go and... Oh, I want him to go on the lava. Oh, well. Let's see if I can time it. There we go. <sighs> so, yeah, maybe, maybe it's a little bit easier because I'm playing the PAL version. Um, because I know... Oh, actually... Power games have a history of being slower, so maybe that'll make the game a bit easier. Anyway, I'm going to save the game now. That's it for this playthrough. So, I will come back to this game soon. Actually, I might try to upload these videos daily, but we'll see what happens. Uh, anyway, that's going to do for this video, guys. I will see you all in part two when I'm back down at four lives. God, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for more Donkey Kong Country 2. Like I said, first walkthrough, I am not stopping these videos until I'm finished with this game. So pray for me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. Until then, keep on playing.